So... Yeah, right, the show. So... OK, here's what's happened, right? This is... This is two nights in Southend, and, uh... Right, I am aware Southend's not really my target sort of town, but this was had a nice Victorian theatre, the theatre the, the, the was available, and... <laughs> the, well, it's just that's normally a, the bit, first big laugh of the night, that... <laughs> joke there with the... <laughs> but we've got a lot of people in... You've got the sort of... You've got the target audience here, sort of comedy fans and people that know about... about politics and stuff, and then it's... I've put on too many dates in South End, <laughs> Look at this. Look at these people. This isn't my crowd, is it? Look at that. Essex. Essex filth. The people that are... <laughs> market traders on the run from London, aren't they? Kind of <laughs> lost their nerve and come to live in the white supremacist theme park. <laughs> yeah, <it's>, uh... <laughs> Should have been a bigger laugh, that. Honestly, that Michael Gove joke. It's a good... It's a good joke. It's, uh, uh... Have people brought friends with them? Because that often makes it go worse if people... <laughs> I know what's happened. People that used to come and see me in the little cellar at the, at the pavilion like 30 years ago, you've gone, oh, he'll never fill the Palace Theatre South End for two nights. <laughs> Let's help him out and we'll buy four tickets and we'll bring Alan and Claire and they're... <laughs> they're sitting next to you, aren't they, your mates? nudging you and going, is this him? Is this the main one? <laughs> is it just this all night? Just a man complaining about things? <laughs> yes, it is, until at least 10 o'clock. <laughs> Don't bring your friends, cos it's filled it up with the wrong people, hasn't it? So it's perfectly serviceable stuff is floundering. <laughs> it's not help. We don't need your help to fill up this is all sold out. <laughs> if you go, no, it isn't, Stu, there's two there, for starters. Right, there, all, all these seats are sold, right? Everything's sold. What's happened to me in the last few years, and I don't really understand why, right, but I've become popular enough that the ticket touts buy these seats, StubHub and that, and they try and resell them online. But I'm not popular enough for anyone in South End to pay six <laughs> times over the odds. <laughs> for... Don't imagine that disheartens me, those empty seats. That's because someone's bought them, right? So I've got the money, it's fine. <laughs> and it's actually better, because it means I've got the money, but there isn't one of your stupid friends sitting in there going, what are these nouns? How do words work? You know? <laughs> That's my dream, an entirely sold out empty room. <laughs> Which would eliminate the main problem with all my work, which is the public's ongoing inability to recognise its genius. It's sort of... <laughs> Still, these people doing the work, isn't it, down here? <laughs> uh... There's a big laugh there that was missed, right, and I'm filming this, and I would appreciate it. <laughs> OK, where, where, where the... Do you know what? I'm going to try and... Well, I'm going to try and sort this out now for the filming. So, where the laugh should have been there, right, is when I went... I know you know. You know when I, I know, sir. <laughs> <laughs> kind of people like me, innit? <laughs> um, yeah, you. <laughs> Cackling sycophants. <laughs> The people that with him hate him because he he goes to them. Have you not heard of Stuart Lee? He's amazing. I can't believe it. <laughs> Probably the best comedian. No, he's not been on Live at the Apollo, obviously. <laughs> you know, I think when you've seen him, you can't really watch other comedians. <laughs> it's more like art, really. <laughs> kind of, yeah, kind of people like me, and it wankers. <laughs> 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 